He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. I'm sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract, send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispatched the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Well, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction. A myth to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that. Staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose. And that purpose requires certain... theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater.
Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them.
Who made a last stand on safe ground? Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry and false currency. made a last stand on safe ground. Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry and false currency.
Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult luck. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A polite facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The high table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power to earn a place by their side. A man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked his own route? An attempt to demonstrate power? No. See, killing you on the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions. That demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will... Will respect me. And my birthright. Please, continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium. One of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner. A brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. Ah! 